Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a four ingredients chocolate mousse recipe. It is gooey, it is chocolatey, it is everything you need to impress your friends, family and partners. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on the next recipe. Without further ado, let's get to it! To start off this recipe, melt over bain-marie 200 grams of dark 70% cocoa chocolate. There isn't a lot of ingredients to this recipe and chocolate is very important here. The better the chocolate, the better tasting mousse you're gonna get. Separate 6 medium sized eggs. To do so, I used a clear plastic bottle. I was always so skeptical about using this method, but it actually turned out to be very very good. If you haven't done so yet, you should try it. Into a large mixing bowl, mix 6 tablespoons of white sugar and 1 very generous tablespoon of room temperature salted butter. Once the sugar and the butter is well combined, drop in the 6 yolks of egg and whisk until you get a pale yellow color. Once you are done whisking the sugar, butter and egg yolks, pour in the melted dark chocolate and whisk again. Once the chocolate starts cooling down, it will thicken up, but don't worry, that's perfectly normal. At this stage, you might find that your whisker wants to give up, so maybe it's time to change for a wooden spoon. Once everything is well combined, set aside and beat the egg whites. Using an electric mixer, beat up the egg whites until firm peaks form or until you turn the ball and no accidents happen. I'm personally always very scared of that technique, but you can always try it for yourself. Drop into the chocolate mixture small amounts of the beaten egg whites and fold it together until everything is well combined. Make sure not to overmix the mousse, as we do not want to lose that airy texture. There are many many ways to serve this chocolate mousse. In this video I'm gonna show you three of my favorite ways to serve it. The quickest and simplest way to serve this chocolate mousse is just to pour it into a serving bowl and put it in the fridge to set for at least one hour before serving. Once set, you can decorate it as you want. Here, I just suggested a little bit of chocolate shaving and some leaves of meat. You might disagree with me, but I absolutely love the combination of strawberries and chocolate. So why not just combining chocolate mousse with strawberries? To do so, just chop up some strawberries and layer it with the mousse before it goes on the fridge. Top the last layer of chocolate mousse with a freshly cut strawberry and put it on the fridge to set for at least an hour. 
Once the mousse is set and you are ready to serve, just shave on top of it some of your favorite chocolate. If you are patient, feeling bold and want to impress some of your friends, partners or family, you might want to serve this mousse in a slightly different way. Here's an idea. Smash some of your favorite biscuit and make a bed for the mousse to lay on. Using two spoons, scoop out some of the set chocolate mousse. Lay it on top of the biscuit bed. And finish it up by decorating the plate with whipped cream and strawberries. Or, if you prefer, raspberries, which will go very well also with chocolate and whipped cream. Top it off with mint leaves and you are ready to serve. Chocolate mousse in a bed of biscuits with whipped cream and strawberries. I hope you liked this recipe. If you did, please leave a comment down below and let me know how the recipe turned out for you. Also, if you haven't got a clue on what you want to cook today for dinner or lunch, you might want to check this recipe down here. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!